us up. As you can tell, it's a very wet and soggy day, but we're gonna check out some of these cars and see what's up. So as you come in from the entrance, you make your way up here, then you got two options, left to the car show and right to the vendors and the drifting. As you walk in, you already got a beautiful lineup with this S15, Koki 14, 180, 180. Then you got this weird S660 right here. My man's lost. With Kazama Auto, Valino, Virgin, DTR, Heart Shops Max over there. He has that with some wheels, CM Works, GK Tech, Gazelle Punch, yellow gas tanks right here, which honestly, really need one of those since the S15 wants to act up when it's got half a tank. But, cool little, I don't know if that's a wolf or a cat or what, but it's one of my favorite booths. And G-Corp puts out some fire stuff. But we uh, picked up the hood props, which are pretty excited about and can't wait to put that on. These mirrors are pretty sick too. I don't even see that. That's pretty cool. Almost like a motorcycle turn signal or something. That's pretty cool. Then you got Shiba tires helping out all the homies. Mounting up all the tires. Yeah, there's a couple more booths up here at the car show portion, Garage Marine, Work, Tone or Tonet, and Vertex. That's literally all they have for vendors. Uh, they have that and then they also have some Kavaz. Look like Yakisoba. Garage Marine's out here too. There's the ones we saw at uh, Tokyo Auto Salon. You can check that out in my other video. They're selling uh, aftermarket radiator supports, which this one doesn't have, it's interesting enough. I love these rear canards on this 180. A little bit different than uh, what you typically see. Oh man, I love McDonald's. My oh man is beached. He needs some help getting out. But let me take you back and show you how this happened. And that's how that happened. Dean has some pretty cool rare parts. This uh, silver carbon. Forge and Hood in the Tommy Kyra grill. Pretty sick. And then if you don't know Garage Mac, you better learn. Beautiful. Real Gran Turismo vibes right here with the C West S15. The GT car with the single lug, lug nut. Man, this car is so awesome. Just bringing back all the memories. The vent. Be mounted up. This thing is so bad. We have doggone Lightning McQueen out here. My oh man entered his bone stock S13. His GP Sports kitted S15. We got all the stuffed animals in there. Let's stop and look at this real quick because I haven't seen these uh, SSR FFTRs on any car here. So those look pretty cool though. This man letting you know, look out for him. He coming through. Those wheels are supposed to be on a Mercedes right there. So I just met a uh, Yotaru, and this is S15 right here. He says he's got the ADM headlights, so it's a little bit different with the that center little winker blade. And then he's got a little parking signal, and that's from uh, what's it called from Australia. Then we have the front bumper, which uh, has a gen genuine option as well from Nissan, in case you didn't know. That's from the, uh, I think it's a Style A is what it was. He's on the OZ wheels, the Spec R brakes. And he also has the 200SX uh, rear spoiler. And he has this also a special option, which I didn't know existed until I was speaking to him. But he's got this red indicator where the reverse light is. An ADM spec for the rear bumper and another genuine option right here for the license plate. Pretty cool of him to speak to me and show me what's up because it's pretty cool. Learned a couple things. This guy's at the wrong meet with his Jay Z powered S13. Still pretty sick though. Big old turbo. Now there's Varietta right here. There's only two of them here to, uh, this year. Check out this engine bay since he's got the hood popped. Not sure about the paint job, but man, it's pretty clean in there too. Ready turbo. Another S13 with the 2J in it. Definitely needs the menless brakes on it. It's like the bell side kitted. But 
It looks like a R33 spoiler. I wonder if it is Velside. Definitely interesting. It looks like a fish from the back. This Navan kitted Zenki is pretty sick. Now, if and when I ever get my S13 coupe, this is what it's gonna look right right here. Two tone, the seafoam green. Somebody trade me S13 for S14 Zenki. But I want a convertible. I'm weird. This Zenki looks like it has a nurse spec RB26 in it. Pretty crazy. And who doesn't love some big brakes? Some Alcons right there. Love this kit. Looks so good. This 14 Koki looks really good too. This thing is on the ground. Wonder if this Laurel has a uh, SR in it. Looks pretty crazy though. Super aggressive. So that's going to be it though for the uh, SR Heritage. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Deuces.